Yeah, it'd be really nice if like when I clicked back on the DS screen, which I'm totally playing this on, uh, if it wouldn't open up the menu automatically. <laughs> but I guess it just does that. So welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver Blind. We're here at the Pokemon League, Indigo Plateau. Also, I'm actually here for this time. I got blindsided uh, with Red's previous stream. I didn't know he was going to be streaming that day, and I had someone else I was helping with the stream that day. No, it's okay. Um, so, what all? What all are these things over here? I'm assuming this is like um, online wireless. Pokemon Communication Club Coliseum. Yeah, about yep. your friends, okay. And this is probably like trading and socializing. Union room. Right, that takes me back. I used those features like maybe a little bit <laughs> when the games came out. Yeah, there's a lot of features that they uh, that kind of get dropped out of us. Okay, so obviously as I just said, we're here at the Pokemon League. We're going to be taking them on. So this is what my team is looking like right now. I figured, you know, why not uh, do a little run through of the team before we get started. So we've got Heracross, Brick Break, Close Combat, Shadow Claw, and Strength. Oops, that's the wrong one. Star you with Surf, Flash, Whirlpool, and Waterfall. Oops. Ampharos with Discharge, Thunder Wave, Charge, and Signal Beam. Yay, you should not be in my party. <laughs> yeah. See, it's a good thing that I checked. What, what, what if I went in there without... <laughs> See, I think it's Kadabra. But I don't have my party. Yep. <laughs> that could have been potentially bad. Okay, well, you know. Back to business. Kadabra. <laughs> <laughs> with Psychic, Psybeam, Disable, and Reflect. Typhlosion with Flamethrower, Lava Plume, Quick Attack, and Swift. And a Mamoswine with Ice Shard, Ancient Power, Avalanche, and Earthquake. Twitch still doesn't ha like say that I'm live well the timer's not running <laughs> I, i've definitely noticed like when streaming recently that it takes at least a few minutes for the timer on twitch to start working and then once it does start on the back end it's always like 50 seconds to a minute higher than the actual amount of time i've been streaming so i have i have no idea why it does that but I mean, it's Twitch. It's Twitch. <laughs> once you enter the store, you will be facing one of the Elite Four. They are really tough. You cannot exit once you enter. Are you ready? Wait, I'll be stuck in there for the rest of my life? <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm ready for that. I, unless they have, no. do they have pop charts in there? I, I almost forgot to switch the screens back. Go me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I realized it before we like got into anything super important. I was about to notice because I was about to look over at the screen. Okay, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a, a wild guess. Purple, floating cubes, psychic. Yeah, your guess is probably correct. Well, also I, I'm pretty sure I see glasses on the on the sprite there, so yeah, I'm definitely leaning towards psychic now. It could also be dark. Or poison, but uh, have they? Let's see. I mean, there's been a poison type gym leader because of Koga, but I don't, I don't think there's been a poison elite four. Hello, Dark Jason. This is the red, real, red expert. Sorry. Not me, the other guy who's speaking. Is this the real red expert? Yes, this is me. Why? I, I'm intrigued to one like wonder why you're asking if it's the real 
Me. He has a question for you. He's just typing it up very slowly. Remember the VOD I uploaded a super short 11 years ago about x-ray climbing? I upload a video on x-ray climbing? You're gonna make me look this up now. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I do remember uh, I mean, releasing I, some I, videos I on uh, some like sequence breaks and other glitches and stuff. But the, the x-ray climb isn't jumping out at me. Like I don't remember doing something on that. I can try searching on my channel to see. Red X Parasite, I'm right? not. I'm not finding anything. <laughs> I mean, I know about that glitch, but I don't know if I ever did something on it. So yeah, that's that. I, that's not ringing a bell. I don't know if I did a video on on the X-ray. Hi. Are you talking about, um, I remember doing one, there's this really funny glitch, um, with the speed booster in the x-ray scope. Where if you are, if you go into the x-ray scope while you have the speed echoes, they, like, linger around while you're in the x-ray scope. Is that what you're thinking of? Because I, def I definitely remember that. Well, anyways, um... I think that's a, a good enough of a distraction. Oh, did I did I switch the screens again? Not from what I've seen. Well, I, <laughs> that's what it looked like on the uh, on the overlay. All right. Well, I guess I'm trying to plan for the fight coming up. So I do have Shadow Claw here. I think that's my only type advantage. No, actually, I have Bug. Bug is good against Psychic, right? It is indeed. So that's an option, I guess. And, of course, your uh, Mammoth there could probably give it a nice big slam in the face with an Earthquake. Probably. Will, I have trained all around the world, making my Psychic-type Pokémon powerful. And at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. Immediately loses. This is my first fight as a, as an Elite Four member. Prepare to be defeated. Oh, you defeated. Oh, X Plasma. Okay. Yeah, that's that's, that's not the X Ray climb. It's a different thing. Yeah, I think you got it. But and yeah. hey, you get a video on one of your videos. Well, uh, this isn't a good look. I mean, he only has type advantage on you two ways. <laughs> it's only quad type advantage. Does, does Bug resist Psychic? No. Bug is good against Psychic, but is not, not capable of damage from. Okay, so I would have been weak to that. Wait, what did it use on me? I was not paying enough oh, attention. Oh, the screen swapped. Oh, that's fun. Okay, well, that's one Pokemon down. Jinx. Uh, you you want to swap the screens? Wait, how do I keep on doing this? Does it? It might be when one of them changed uh, order, it just did it. No, I seriously, I swear, I've swapped the screens multiple times. <laughs> you might have a macro that's doing it automatically. There we go. Oh, oh that would be so annoying. Um, also, uh, bugs, defensive typings, it takes half damage from fighting, grass, and ground. And deals double to dark, grass, and psychic. Wait, Dark takes double damage from bug? Yeah, yeah, Dark is weak to bug. So it's one of those one of those weird ones. I 
I, I'm gonna be so paranoid for like the rest of the stream now. <laughs> Watching to make sure that the screens are correct. Oh, what? I didn't one shot at that. I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, it's Jinx. They have decent defensive typings, uh, decent defensive stats. And we are evenly leveled. It, it's tough coming off of, like, one-shotting literally everything. <laughs> finally finally uh, finding things that don't. I, I'm actually going to have to take some hits. Although, I, I didn't take any damage from the Jinx. Slow bro. Aw, oh, man. Thunder would be good for that. When did I start streaming on Twitch? Um, that's a good question. Like, it's been probably about a year of semi-regular streaming. Um, I definitely have more of a set schedule recently. <laughs> but I, I haven't I haven't been like regularly streaming for a long time. <laughs> So this, this last year has been somewhat different. I'm trying to keep it that way. All right. Oh. Um, so yeah, it's slow bro. So it's water. She has the psychic, right? So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'd, have to, I'd have to heal up for that, which is unfortunate. You actually have not seen one of, your po one of his Pokemon yet in this run, I believe. I wouldn't be too surprised. Let's see how this does. But oh no, it's very tanky. <laughs> yep. Oh and no, it's gonna make it worse. Yeah, yeah, it is. Wait, does amnesia affect its? Uh... It's just special defense. It it it's yeah. sharply raises special defense. So basically, attack it physically, is is what I have to do. I just hope he doesn't hit you with that move. Well, Asterius is going to be less helpful now. On this fight. On this particular fight. Just because it's resisting that. Okay, so this is non-ghost type curse. Speed, attack, defense. Oh, that's kind of bad. Yes, but it also did a lot of damage to itself, didn't it? It did do some damage, but it it might not die from this is the problem. Yep. I guess, I guess, unless it uses it again. Although this could be problematic if he decides to heal. He didn't. He must save it for his aces. Yeah, I'm wondering, because most Elite Fours have at least two heals, right? I think that's... Pretty consistent across the series. Uh, no, I believe most some of them only have one. Oh. oh, are you kidding me? Come on. Okay, fine. Ice <laughs> and rock, actually. Although I guess Zatu was kind of the one of the new introduced Pokemon. Okay, cool. I should do double damage here. Oh, that did a lot, though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, with the double damage, that was a pretty easy one-shot, I think. Oh, okay. I'm fine yeah, with that. That, <laughs> that Tatsu was actually his ace. Did I, did I just not notice? What level was it? 42. Oh. It's only one level above, but it has okay. a berry, so if you don't one-shot it, it heals itself. Oh. I mean, I'm pretty sure most trainers don't give up when they're down to their last Pokemon. I mean, that you know of. They might have a hidden Pokemon. I mean, he was saying it like it was something special that only Psychic-type trainers do. <laughs> So now comes the fun one. Uh, you will recognize. Uh, is my mom gonna call one. me after like every battle? <laughs> I don't know if she can call you in here, but she probably will. 
I mean, I'm fingers crossed that the cellular reception in here is really bad. Although that would kind of suck to be the elite form members then, because you're just sitting in here all day waiting for challengers. And you can't even get, you know, cell service. Well, maybe it's just their cell phones that get the service. Oh, they have special phones. Uh, no, they have this thing called a landline. What's that? I don't know. It's something kids don't know about anymore. Oh, I only have, I only have one lemonade left. Let's see. That'll be enough for this. I'm an old man, so for me, it's a lot. <laughs> um. Oh, I went to the, I went to a different tab. Go me. Um. <laughs> yeah, you used the wrong yep. selection. I, yeah, I don't like I don't like how the scrolling on this menu works. I I've switched to the touch screen in case you couldn't tell. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I guess I'll just go with the hyper potions out of battle. So what I, and well, don't forget to heal paralyzed. Actually, you know what? I could just use two uh, super potions. Oh yeah, that's true. Techni technically more HP effective. Like I'm wasting less of the potion. You could also use two potions and leave them with five left. But probably a good idea to get your ice type up. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm gonna fully heal my team before between battles <laughs> okay so that was not too bad mm. say hello to Dark. Koga or sorry no this is Koga okay so this is poison then yep the first and only poison type elite four member okay well uh, I'm gonna however switch. he does have a Pokemon his it's not his ace, but he does have a Pokemon that is not his type. He also leads with an Ariados. Fwahaha! <laughs> I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in shadows, a ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison? Prepare to be the victim of my sinister techniques. Fwahaha! <laughs> Pokemon are not merely about brute force. You shall see soon enough. And then you brute force him. Well, I'm going to try. <laughs> I like his little jump hit. That, that is cool. Now, if I had a flying type, that, that could be useful here. More than you know. High speed run. Oh, yeah. So I, I do... Uh, I do speed run Super Metroid still um so i've been i've been posting some pbs on my channel for that and then i have also been true i didn't one shot this with earthquake are you kidding me anyways <laughs> um, hey man uses the full restores see i've been i've been doing that on sundays typically Oh, you know what's you know what's funny about the uh, no barrier run actually. Um, back when I did it, it was just kind of uh, you know I'll skip the various suit, but I still kind of did the same standard trade Fantoon Dragon Ridley boss order. But you could totally just do Fantoon first and then skip the various suit pretty easily. <laughs> so that that would be kind of a fun like side category to do again. I guess the interesting thing would be finding the best places to pick up the like minimum three other energy tanks you need. I mean it's it's not a standard category that people typically run. Alright. So you are incredibly defensive, Fortress. But I happen to have a flamethrower, which is four times effective against you, and is also a special move. <laughs> yeah, you really want to get rid of him ASAP for a good reason. He has toxic spikes. Hmm. Well, guess what? It's gone. <laughs> good. Now, he's not going to use his other one. He might pull his ace out. All right, level 43. Getting uh, some good stats. Moves. Dark Jason. He has the different routes that he can choose. Muck. 
if he does the not variable route, he can do uh, do it in a very particular fashion. So that he has to skip Fantoon, but he has to pick up three extra energy tanks, so he has to reroute it. Well, no. What I was saying is that in in, in the one that I put have on my channel, uh, which is very old, by the way, um, I did some suitless stuff in Norfair to get like speed booster and wave beam, and I think ice beam. But you could just do Fantoon first, get the gravity suit, and then you're set. <laughs> and you're protected against heat and, and obviously underwater. Okay, uh, back to this game. He's sending out a muck. Which, I don't know how offensive Muck really is. Um, I mean, it is. It would be. It would be weak to Psychic, but Merlin is also kind of frail. So we'll see what this does. Oh man, that, I, I I still don't do runs of <laughs> PRKD regularly. It's the boss order, Gullius, so it's uh. Fantoon, Ridley, Kray, Dragon. Which is the fastest known route uh, currently, but it involves... I mean, obviously you get the gravity suit first, which is good, but then... You're going down into lower Norfair without space jump, without really any beams except for wave. Um, so in order to kill Ridley, you have to use the power bomb special for the wave beam and supers. Um, you have to use some like interesting strats to get either around enemies or kill them. Like yet, I think some of the strats involve like killing them with speed echoes from the speed booster. Like that, that come out when you bonk into things after using that shine spark. All right, Venomoth, you'll be weak to fire. Yeah, this is why I'm kind of not a speedrunner. Is you just start throwing terminology at me, and I, whew, I apologize. I'm never gonna remember it. Yeah, so that's that's why. Like honestly, I'm still I'm still running KPDR right now because I still have improvements to make on like movement and bosses you know so at least for now like you know since I still have room to improve on that it's like I'll just I'll just go with that um, oh this is interesting um, a most recent PB is a 5315 real time uh, 36 in game all right so i guess i have actually i have three options you know what i, I think i'm gonna go serious on this one it, it's gonna outspeed me but this is also his ace i'm not i'm not terribly surprised by that oh 44 lovely i've been counting on this one from the very beginning all right um is he gonna is he going to use any special attacks on me is the thing? Uh, he will not. Uh, that's unfortunate. So, I mean, I could power up my my attack with charge, but oh no. <laughs> yep. I just looked at that and I didn't want to say anything. Oh, and a a actually, for, for Dark Jason, I have my uh, PBs uh, under the stream in the info. Here on Twitch. Oh... Well, if he uses a full restore, then the paralyzed doesn't. No, actually, Citrus Berry Citrus might get Berry. it out of uh, full restore. <laughs> okay, that's wonderful. <sighs> Don't you love when you can almost defeat the entire an entire elite four member with taking like what was that two points of damage? Damage twice uh, total. I'll, I'll, oh, like taking damage twice. We can we can look at it afterwards. I'm not even certain if you did any at all. Well, you one shot. So, some of them, so, like yeah, either I one shot stuff or uh, they were trying to like set up, like you use double team there, but it really didn't amount to much. I must hone my skills. Go to the next room and put your abilities to the test. All right, time to check. 
I did not get touched. <laughs> you just perfected uh, an Elite Four member. That's hilarious. Yay! <laughs> so, the next room is going to be familiar as well, but from a different game. Is that... It's not Bruno, is it? It's Bruno! Oh boy. Time to break out my weakest team member. <laughs> I'm sorry, Polaris, but that's that's probably probably true. Well, coincidentally, that'll be very helpful. Uh, just know that his ace is really nasty. I am Bruno the Elite Four. I always train to the extreme because I believe in our potential. That is how we became strong. Can you withstand our power? Hmm, I see no fear in you. You look determined. Perfect for battle. Ready, Red X? You will bow down to our overwhelming power. Hoo-ha! Oh no, he has a Diddy Kong. Donkey Kong is here. Oh, that's fighting. Okay. <laughs> that's that's not exactly what I was expecting. Oh. Yep, he was showing off one of the new Pokemon in this generation. Oh, you know what the worst part is? Switching into Merlin is really not a good idea. <laughs> That's okay. Try with Polaris real quick. And yeah, we'll see what this does. His team's special defense is probably Garbo. Uh, you you say that. Although, counter counter doesn't work on special moves. So, there's that. Uh, he does have other options. Although, you know what? I probably... Oh, great. Like Dig. <laughs> it's like he can read my mind. Uh, ground is good against ice, right? Uh, I think so, yes. So Minotaur, Minotaur is probably weak to that. Actually, that makes like three of my team members that are weak to that. Let's check, let's check, let's check. Uh, ice takes double damage from ground, grass, flying, and dragon. Wait. Dragon, that shouldn't. <laughs> oh no, she does double damage to it. Defensively, it yeah. fighting fire, rock, and steel. I, I fire, fighting I fire, hate... rock, and steel. So ground is actually okay then. Yeah, I'm a derp. It does ice does double damage to ground. Yeah, I, I knew about that. Yeah, that's why I'm a derp. I always I read the wrong side. That's I okay. always do that. All right. Um, do, do, do. Actually, you know what? I I do have a priority move. <laughs> Give that a shot, I suppose. And if we if we get it into heal range, then you know we can make him burn a potion on it. Now that's not good. Oh, that's like kind of eh. Um, I could try to bank on the fact that he'll heal. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll just heal myself. It's the safer thing to do. And if he heals his hitman top, you just take it back down in a couple turns and uh, be happy that his full restore is gone. Yep, there's the full restore. So, I mean, it's good to get that out of the way, but also. See, what, what's he actually used on me so far? Counter and dig? Counter and dig. He has two other moves that he can use. Well, I would I, I would assume that he has a full set of four moves. I was actually about to say, uh, ask, did you want me to tell you what they are? Oop, eh, no, keep, me, keep, keep me in the dark. No, he doesn't use any dark type moves. There's the dig. Okay. Now you can set up an X defend to increase your defense. Uh, do I even have any of those? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no. <laughs> it's the one kind I don't have. All right, fine. I guess we'll. I guess we'll just do the song and dance again. It's the same old story. Song and dance, my friend. Yeah, like my my main concern is uh, well you know if if i if i know that he's going to use dig on me in the future i could 
Well, you know what? Let's do a speed check. I'm faster than it. What the heck? <laughs> you could match speeds. Huh? Well, if it's you a speed, speed tie, speed. then... Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> well, let's see how bad I can counter it. No, it's gonna kill me. I have revives. Ouch. Well, yeah. yeah, I like it. It's gonna do twice the damage that I did to it, and look how much damage I did to it. <laughs> That's true. Right. I forgot counter does specific amounts of damage. At least from here on out, you can swap in the Merlin when you need to. Yeah, like my main problem with it is that it's frail. You know, Merlin is frail. Yeah, but he'll likely kill anything he comes across. This is who I assume you thought was leading. Oh, well, I mean, he he was ground type, so yeah, something, <laughs> something ground to rock. This shouldn't be a problem. Although I could, I could miss out on the opportunity to use earthquake on stuff. Hitmonchan. Okay, you know what? Fine. Yep, everything he has from this point forward is, uh, is your good old fighting types. Why does he have so many fighting types? Because he's a fighting type. <laughs> Trainer, that's that's his shtick. No, it, it, was, it was like ground or rock. Are you kidding? Um, it was ground or rock in, uh, okay, fine. I can full restore, I guess. Problem is, ugh. no. Are you kidding me? I sh I should have done it. Oof. So that's a priority I move, mean, right? Yes. And you you say that, but in Gen One, he, the only difference on this team was that he had an additional onyx, and it was replaced with a hit on top. Really? Huh. <laughs> And his levels were massively reduced, but that makes sense. Do I even have something worth switching out at the moment? Uh, Not really. Unless you have some moves that do have decreased accuracy to hit, because he has a he has a mon that has uh, no. Yeah, no guard. Thank God it does not have um, any one hit moves. Hmm. I'm wondering. Oh, my fighting type's gonna be bad for <laughs> Mammoth Swine. Wondering if I should try to bring anything back up. I mean, if you get KO'd, you could always swap into Merlin after you get KO'd. But that would require you getting KO'd intentionally, which is painful. Yeah, I don't I don't want to try to go for intentional sacks. Why are they under status healers? The only problem is that this thing is super bulky. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow. Yep. It is super, super bulky. And like I said, it has no guard, so there's no chance of it missing, even if it has very low accuracy ratings. I don't have anything that's really fantastic for tanking. <laughs> that's a problem. So that does double damage if he takes damage first, right? Yes. <sighs> Great. Yeah, it's 60 power or 120 if you take if he's taking damage at the same turn. Uh, 
I'm beginning to think that I might have wanted to grind for this. <laughs> Please live. Yeah, his Machamp is no joke. I mean, the upside is you have a save before the Elite Four, so if we need to, you can at least save half your money. I don't even I don't even know what the best play is here, honestly. I mean, the question is, will Polaris live against uh, Machamp's onslaught? No, not at all. Then the best I can, thing I can, can get I can get a hit in, but then I don't even know. It's like, what is bringing back either of my Pokemon gonna do for me? I mean, not really a lot in this case. You you really want to get in and hope that. And really desperately hope that Merlin can tank uh, a hit or or kill him. I, I, shot. I, well, I mean, I'll resist the move, but my defenses are terrible. Is Merlin? So like that's problematic. Okay, I do move faster than him. All right, so my my Mega Pro Strat here is not working out. <laughs> if, if you crit, I fucking swear. Oh my god. Well, I was trying to get a burn. How am I faster than him? This Machamp has no speed, I guess. Okay, that's fair. Well, that was nice. Oh, hey, Quickla. speed is 55. And what's so my speed? Slower. I actually think Ampharos is uh, 60. Okay, so I actually beat it in speed. That's funny. That. I'm gonna need at least two of these. Unless I got a crit. Oh no, Ampharos has 55 speed, so he must have a speed reducing nature. Okay, well he already used a healing item, so it's down. Oh goodness. Oh. You know what? <laughs> I'm I'm playing dirty now. Thank goodness for that. I mean, you can you can full heal off that, right? Confusion, like full full heal works in confusion. Yes, I'm pretty certain. Yeah, that did over half, although that could be a range. Why would you jinx yourself by saying that? <laughs> it can be used to cure a Pokemon of all non volatile status conditions and confusion. Alright, we didn't get ranged. You're welcome. Me questioning what, why you would do that is a reason that you didn't range. Funny story, I actually had a range problem the other day. In, oh, uh, no, actually, in my mobile game. It is the variance amounts between uh, drops on certain characters, or jumpers in particular, because it's Final <sighs> Fantasy. That is so rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, the variance difference was huge, so that one of my characters, who was actually Edgar from Final Fantasy VI, uh, was dropping, and he had a chance to do. Uh, up to uh, 500 million twice, and he would usually do 300 million and 500 million. Fun. All right, how Another much HP does team everyone team. need? <laughs> See, only need like 50. God, that's so sad. Look, look at these—they're not even over 100. 
Yeah, that's, that's what happens in the low 40s. 80. And that's also about 80. Okay, well, I can use a single super. Yeah, I can just use. I'm going to use supers. So that'll be one, and then I'll use two each on the others. Well, <laughs> I know that I knew, like I knew there was going to be level scaling going into the elite four, but man, because they they basically like they're all roughly two ish level ranges, and then they just kind of go up with each member. It was like forty one, forty two, and then forty three, forty four, and now like forty five, forty six. Uh, yes, and this next one is a little different. Oh, you're... wait a minute. Her name is Karen. Of oh, the Elite Four. Oh, oh no. Oh no, we're facing a Karen. <laughs> yes. Yes, we actually are. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out the room here. It's like... it looks like stars on the ground. I'm assuming. Are also rocks. Purple again. Yeah, this this Crystals. is a very well. It's the Indigo League, which is kind of close to purple. I'll give you a hint. You actually have asked if Will was that particular type. Poison? No. Cause... Wait, sorry. Dark. Yeah. That's However, what I was leaning towards. That said, she. Well. I'm not going to ruin it, but you remember how we had problems against the Pokemon earlier in the Let's Play? Okay, I'm trying to remember which Pokemon. Uh, Houndoom? Houndoom. Mm. She needs a dark type. She doesn't mm. have a choice. However, she, the, the thankful part is you have a good team to go up against her. Well, I guess we'll see about that. <sighs> All right. I am Karen of the Elite Four. Your Red X how amusing. I love dark type Pokemon. I'm known for my overpowering tactics. Think you can take them? Just try to entertain me. Oh great, starting with the tank. Thankfully you can break the tank. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be careful with using close combat, though. Like, I'm not anticipating one-shotting this. Okay, you game, you can, you can prove me wrong if you want. <laughs> you you crit the tank. Oh. Tank down! Murkrow, okay, fine, I can handle blame, that. Blame the healer. Oh, that's weird, I would have expected him to swap it, her to swap into Houndoom. Well, she still has more Pokemon left, so. Alright, so what do I want to do on the Houndoom? So I can I can go water, but I'm like survivability is not great. Plus it's not really honestly one of my stronger attackers anyways. Um fire is a problem for Heracross. Uh and it's also well, actually, is it a problem for Mamoswine? Is is Mamoswine neutral? I guess we're we're having this discussion now because she's sending it out. Um, does the ground negate the weak like Ice's weaknesses to fire? Weakness let's to fire. check. Let's check. Let's check. Type effectiveness: weak to fire two X. Well, Ice is. Oh yeah. Yeah, Ice I mean, is weak to fire, but what about ground? You know, I'm just Mamoswine is Mamoswine is two X weak to fire. It is weak to fire. Yeah. <laughs> Why are all my Pokemon? Why do all my Pokemon have weaknesses? To lose that S. <laughs> it, it, it is very likely to do it. To to do it, unfortunately, if you send in Ma Mama Swine. Also, I have to warn you on the level. It is level forty-seven. <laughs> we are under level for the last Houndoom too. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna be fast, right? Probably. It's a Houndoom. It's a Houndoom. 
as long as it doesn't get off a nasty plot or two, you should be fine. All right. Um, what what's gonna what's gonna be my best attacking option? I guess. Not Apollo, because it has flash fire. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Okay. It only has two. Um... Flash fire. No, oh, wonderful. It's actually no. It's physical defense is actually a lot worse. Um, it's very fast though, which is concerning. Defense is 50, special defense is 80, 95 speed. 95 speed. Uh, do I have something that outspeeds that? No. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty certain none of your Pokemon can outspeed that. No, no, Apollo, Apollo does. Without a doubt. Yeah, but the problem is Apollo is... I know, it's not going to be very effective. Oh, that's looking wonderful. Uh, Maybe Asterius and charge, charge, charge. Honestly, that might not be a bad idea. Yeah, plus I can also... I could, you know what, I could also just cut its speed in half. That's true. That's very true. The only problem is, it's, like, it's starting to buff its stats, which is bad. Really bad. <laughs> Alright, time to build up the tank. And you could also use an, a special, uh, X special if you need to. Does, it, does X specials do one or two? I don't remember. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Uh, this, well, this might this might be a long haul cuz actually this might be a good thing. I mean, I I can get I can get the occasional free turn from paralyzes, but Oh no. I throw us 15 PP. What does? A flamethrower? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, isn't bug good against dark? But it, it fire resists bug, I'm pretty sure. You're right. So yeah, lightning's better to go for stab. Yeah, it's probably better just to go for stab. The problem is we're we're like we're in an arms race basically, and it's it's sharply increasing. So you know what I probably should be doing is alternating discharges and charges. Try and do some damage. I mean, that did over... Okay, it did the whole thing because crits. Why do I even <laughs> worry about anything? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You are Luxaki pretty hard right now. <laughs> I have to admit. That's two on the same Elite Four, isn't it? Uh, yeah. All right, Gengar. Uh, let's see. Poison Ghost, right? Yes, Ghost Poison. So Hercules and... Wait, does it have Levitate? It has Levitate, doesn't it? It has Levitate. Frick. <laughs> okay, fine. But it's immune to fighting, isn't it? Well, I was going to use Ghost. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Dang it. Gr ground would have been so good, but, like, the developers knew about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the good news is that you will kill the final Pokemon. It has half of your team, fully half of your team, can one-shot the last Pokemon she has. <laughs> oh my god, what is this luck? <laughs> you, you crit three times with the same elite forever. <laughs> what are the odds? What? What is my luck? You you had an easier time against the higher level one than against the foot. <laughs> go else? go figure. Oh, the, the vile is only level forty two. Yes, because it, it the levels are forty two, forty two, forty four, forty five, and forty seven. Wow. <laughs> are you kidding? Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> Fine, whatever. You made me. You made me spend like 500 poke.
<laughs> All right, good fight, Karen. <laughs> My mom hasn't called me yet, so strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. I that think is she did it after the last fight. Only the selfish perception of people. Truly skilled trainers should try to win with the Pokemon they love best. I like your style. You understand what's important. All right, all Sunkern team. Let's go. <laughs> Sunkern is my favorite Pokemon ever. It, it, it's not. Um, go along the champions waiting. Oh boy. Yeah, only, only thing that happened to me was getting paralyzed. So that, that makes two fights where I didn't take damage. Uh, no, actually, no, I healed off damage. Sorry. You healed, you healed the damage in the fight. I healed the damage in the fight. But you know what? Moral victory. <laughs> um, all right. So it's Lance. I, <laughs> I know that. Uh, yes, but I do want to warn you. Does he still uh, have he does, three Dragonites? He, he, he does, yes. But he does not start with one. Oh, boy. He starts with... a. I can just say it because he it's the same one he started with in Gen 1, Gyarados. Oh, joy. That that makes the uh, lead Pokemon very obvious here. Mm -hmm. Asterius is going to be very good against this uh, fight because nothing 100%... Well, no, Rock resists. Huh? Nothing. Nothing? nothing well, let's see. Dragon resists electric... I mean, but, but the, the Dragonites are just neutral to it. Um, I think does Steel is resist electric? Not a lot resists electric. Um, anyways, let's see. I should probably bust an ether or two. Uh, Dang it, come on, game. Why can't you just go into the move menu where I can see how much PP the moves actually have? Electric does half damage to Dragon, Electric, and Grass, and does no damage to Grand. Right. So Mysterious is very good in the next fight. Okay, let's see. What do I need? Okay, so I could potentially use one on Discharge. Yeah, you're fine. You're also fine. You're also... F well, you know what? Six Earthquakes is... If I can't do it with six Earthquakes, I can always use one in battle. <laughs> Flamethrower could use one. Okay, so I think I'll use two. One on Discharge, one on Flamethrower. Just so I don't have to waste the time doing these in battle. If I need to use a lot of these moves. Alright, I'm gonna do my save here because I don't know if it's gonna just throw me immediately into the fight or not. Okay, it didn't. We're good. Hey, look, Dratini statues. They're so cute. I'm just gonna look at these instead of fighting Lance. Is that okay? <laughs> no, I'm, assu I'm assuming Lance is the same thing. Hi, Lance. Oh, yep, there's the auto trigger. I've been waiting for you. Red X, I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who the stronger of the two... Wait, who is the stronger of the two of us? I missed the verb. You missed a word. I did. It, it was an important dishonor word. Dishonor upon your family. Uh, dishonor upon my mill tank. Uh, as the most powerful <laughs> trainer and as the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance, the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. Okay, here we go. Champion time. One of the few Pokemon trainers that have six Pokemon in this generation. And yes, I do believe there are ones that actually do have uh, six. I can think of at least one. Oh, joy. I assume his moveset is going to be geared around physical, right? Yes, for a couple of his months. Okay, you know what? Fine. I, you know, t touch me and get paralyzed at your own peril. You know what? You know what? The, you know what the biggest problem about this though is if I if I kill it, which is entirely possible. Yeah. Um, now a series is super low on health. <laughs> yeah, but we'll see who he's sending in. Dragonite. It might be a good time to swap in. 
And I'm aware that his Dragonites have Flamethrower. Or at least one of them does. Uh... They changed slightly. Oh, did that? Yes, it is Fire Blast now. Oh! <laughs> Great! So what you're telling me is, is basically I'm screwed. Also, is level 50 his ace one? It is his ace. Ah, oh, frick. Wait, wait. Citrus Berry. All right, if I live this, then I should be able to kill it next time. It hit. <laughs> but doesn't crown resist? I'm so bad no, at No, it does not. I'm probably one-shotted from this because Fire Blast is powerful. Yep. Sorry, I didn't know which dragon that it was. I mean, neither did I. It's impossible to know. <sighs> this is not good. The, the Pokemon that I would have ideally liked to have sent out is currently <laughs> in need of healing. I require healing. How wonderful. I don't even have anything that resists Dragon. Oh, Very little come on. I think it's it'll confuse itself at the end of this, right? Yes. The only problem is it could crit me and then I'll just be dead, but I guess that's just the risk I'm gonna have to take, cause I don't I don't have like any Pokemon that swapping out to them would be a good idea. Maybe you'll be in luck and it'll miss. <laughs> oh, I got ranged. Cool. That was my fault, wasn't it? I jinxed is it, it. Is Outrage physical? Physical. Frick. <laughs> Great. Gamma Swine would have been great. Okay, I survived it. Yay! I mean, maybe you kill it. I didn't. He hasn't. He hasn't healed yet. Oh, are you kidding me? He's gonna use the full restore on the confusion. Come on! <sighs> you know what I could have done? I could have gone for Thunder Wave, assuming that he would have full restored and I could have gotten a free paralyze. I think this is worth trying. Uh-oh. Does that prevent stat drops? Nope, it prevents statuses. Cool. What, what do I even do? I mean, I guess I can get Mammoth Swine back up. Because I still have two more of these to deal with. Again. Does ice resist dragon? I don't think it does. I don't think so. It'd be great if it did. Um, I guess I'm just stalling this out uh, again. The only thing that resists it is steel. Dragon's a broken type. Yeah, I wonder why they introduced fairy. Yeah, the problem is that Fairy didn't really fix the the problem like that you know the dragon had, <laughs> um, or the hey, it paralyzed itself. Um, I mean, sure, like you have a specific counter, like another thing that counters dragons, but um, Fairy itself is kind of a problem now. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah it is. Alright, so if we... Once, once this is over, we'll have Parafusion. Okay, so... I... I could try to swap in to Mamoswine while it's under the Parafusion and, and hope that I... Um, hope that I can get it off. Um, oh, because Outrage doesn't stop it from being its own. Yeah. Yeah, so it's currently under Parafusion. It's using Outrage again. But the good news yeah. is that it's locked into Outrage. Yeah. I still can't take two of those without healing. <sighs> okay, well, I guess I'll heal and hope that either one of the confusion or paralysis triggers. Like, it. I don't even think I have anything on my team that could take two hit, two outrages without healing. Yep. At least from this particular dragon I am. There we go, we finally got the Parafusion. <sighs> nope, it's gone, and it... Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Oh, so because it hit itself in confusion, it got out of the outrage. Fucking leaveable. Fire Blast only has five PP, right? So I just have to like take five of those and then that I'm good for the rest of the fight, right? Five, yes. This is really dumb. Does that prevent it from, uh... Not itself. Okay, it's so it, it can still confuse that. itself from, with Outrage. Yep. You cannot prevent self-inflicted, uh... Here we go again. How much PP does Outrage have? Uh, I don't want to tell you. Because too many, ten, too much. Ten, but that's does ten it, starts. It doesn't use up additional PP. No. Who thought this move was okay? 120 uh, base power move that goes for three turns without uh, having any cost. And it's now well, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it two to three? Two to three, yeah. I have healing items to loop it, I guess, but I mean, like the major problem is that Mamoswine is probably my best bet of doing damage to it, and I can't survive a fire blast. Thankfully, it's only this one that knows fire blast. Yay. All three of them have it next to identical kits, except that they rotate between the three main types, Thunder, Blizzard, and Fire Blast. So basically, this is just the problem child. <laughs> For me, at yep. least. Yep. I would really, really like to swap into Mamoswine, but... Um, it might be a little difficult. I got paralyzed. See, the problem is, like, it could always just get paralyzed, and then, um... Stop outraging. Yeah, the outrage is stopped. Which, I don't know, like, it, I guess it balances out because it's fewer turns of outrage that I have to deal with until he runs out, but... Is 
Is it not confused? Not yet. Now it is. Alright, who's ready for it to hit another fire blast through Parafusion? I would ask why why heal then? Because it'll it'll kill you from all oh, I guess it There we go. And now it's dead. Probably I don't want to jinx it any more than I already have. Alright. <laughs> Forty power priority move, come on! Four times weakness. My attack stat is like pretty darn good. Get out of here. <laughs> Get you, out. <laughs> you spent like a hundred thousand poke dollars fighting that one Dragonite. Get out of here. Um, and he has a Charizard. You're not healthy. You could swap in Polaris and tank a hit or two while you heal Asterius. Is there anything that I'm going to need a Polaris for at this point? It just uh, has water. Unless Aerodactyl. And you don't want to be out against the Aerodactyl because of the Thunder Bang. So not really? Yeah, it's Dragonite, Dragonite, Aerodactyl, Charizard at this point. <laughs> so demoralizing that thinking that, like, I'm only two Pokemon in. Um... Let's see, is the Hyper Potion enough? Oh, it's 200. I'm dumb. None of my Pokemon have more than 200. I guess it doesn't really matter. Air Slash. I guess that's probably better than... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I have no HP. Polaris is, like, super, super frail. Uh... It's, it's gonna outspeed me, isn't it? Probably it's pretty fast. And it's level 48. My life is just pain right now, basically. Fire Fang. Oh my god, a move that didn't do like more than half my health. I mean, please use Air Slash, like... Uh, Fire Fang again, okay. Oh, that was... Is that not a crit? Why did that do so much damage? Oh, um... Physical. The ability. No. Blaze. Yeah. Yeah. Dragonite again. Uh, th will this one? Does it? Does this one have a fire type move? No. These swaps out. They all have Thunder Wave, Hyper Beam. Oh and god, then... Hyper Beam. <laughs> I haven't yeah. even seen a Hyper Beam yet. <sighs> Dragon Rush and Thunder or Blizzard. Oh, lovely. Dragon Rush. Please don't do more than half. Come on! <laughs> Why? This is giving me flashbacks to um, Cynthia and Diamond. Mostly because I was... Uh, actually, I was technically even more underleveled for that. Because... Cynthia's Pokemon and Diamond are like, uh, I think it maxes out at 66. I think most of them are like 61, 62, or some, somewhere in between. I've managed to beat Cynthia at like 49, 50. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You have sealed your fate. I can only hope you sealed your fate. Only 
Dragonite! He does have three. Well, yeah, I mean, I knew that. <laughs> this is the Blizzard Dragon. Well, actually, no, we don't know if this is a Blizzard or the Thunder. I guess the Thunder would be yeah. preferable. Although he wouldn't yeah. use it. He would just use Dragon Rush. How much PP uh, does that have? <laughs> uh, give me a second. Ten. Oh, joy. This is the Blizzard one! What is, is Blizzard is the one-shot one, is it? No, that's, uh, Sheer Cold. Alright, well, I'm bank- I'm gonna bank on the fact that he's faster than me. I should be- I'm gonna be neutral to this. This is gonna be a nail-biter. Okay, we lived it. We're good. I think this one's also dead. Almost identical stats to the previous one, so I hope so. 120 power, quad effective move with good attack. Yeah. And the best part is, you don't even need to swap. Because I don't think Aerodactyl's faster than you. I actually don't know. Uh, I, it's, it's probably fast. It's okay, I have I have backups. If need be. Oh, holy shit, Aerodactyl has 130 base speed? Uh, Cynthia's levels, by the way, are 61 Spirit Tomb, 60, 60, 63 Lucario, 63 Militech, 66 Garchomp. And, they ha and, Garchomp. and I know at least, like, the Garchomp has next to perfect IVs. Yes. Yeah, I think it actually has perfect IVs. So, congratulations on your Elite Four win. What, uh, why are, what, no, yeah. no. No, it's not over yet. Is it there? Okay, now it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say, I don't think the rival challenges you in this game. No, the fight wasn't finished. Yeah. I mean, okay, you I were... Yes, technically you technically, I had input the command that I needed to win the fight, but... <laughs> you, you'll, you'll have to excuse me for not I calling mean, it over before it's over. I mean, I waited until I saw whether or not he crit you. <laughs> Whew. You've become truly powerful. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. And then Professor Oak walks in. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, it's all over. Professor Oak, if you weren't so slow. Alright, new head Maybe. cannon. Professor Oak is secretly a slow poke in disguise. No, actually, Wait, it's, just, it's, it's just three slow pokes in a trench coat. There we go. <laughs> ah, Red X, it's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the league is just fantastic. Your dedication, trust, and love for Pokemon ha made this happen. Your Pokemon were outstanding, too. Yeah, they um, <laughs> they took a beating. <laughs> <laughs> They're holding on. like the, your, I, your I'm, I'm just like, I'm just standing behind them, like, pouring the potions <laughs> into their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you just inject, you just... Because <laughs> well, I believe like, in you as a trainer, they persevered. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's interview the Typhlosion. brand new champion. Typhlosion has two broken back legs. And it's, you, you, know it's what? you know what? You know what, Lance? Lance, I am, I am with you on that one. Let's go. <laughs> oh, wait, we haven't done the interview. Oh, no. It's been a long time since I last came here. This is where we commemorate the League Champions for all eternity. Their courageous Pokemon are also inducted. Here today we witness the rise of a new League Champion, a trainer who feels compassion for and trust for all, sorry, toward all Pokemon. A trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination. You, you guys are throwing out the same words. <laughs> uh, the new League Champion who has all the makings of greatness. Renix, allow me to register you and your partners as champions. I love how angry you get at it. Like, yeah, that, that's the whole point of this game. 
Asterius, who managed to kill more Pokemon in the last 20 minutes than he has uh, in most other episodes. <laughs> Asterius, I basically don't... the MVP of the team, probably. Merlin, I don't think you actually sent out at all? No, no, I use Merlin. Very uh, sparingly. The, the crit... Hercules Trent honestly Bond. did not get a lot of use either. It was a lot of Asterius. Except for the part where he picked up the Minotaur. Umbreon and broke it over his knee. And I didn't, I didn't really attack much with Polaris either. So it was Apollo, Asterius, and Minotaur that basically carried me through the, the Pokemon League. I, I like the literally the screen time for the other three was almost negligible. Poor Apollo. <laughs> Polari hobbling. Polaris is getting Mike wazowski <laughs> <laughs> He's literally riding the Mamoswide to victory. <laughs> He's like, the Mamoswide's like, okay, fine, I've been carrying you on my back already, so fine, get on. <laughs> Saving, don't turn off the power. All right, I'm gonna make a save state too. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We Credits time. The game. Or well, did we? <laughs> the the first half of the game. <gasps> you mean there's a second half? I mean, we literally were in Kanto to get to the Pokemon League. So, I guess, we can, I, I, guess I can talk about the first half of the game now, since oh, you know we have a clear. credit sequence. So, I, I guess I, let's start with the Elite Four and Pokemon League, which I, I think this one falls into the diamond level of it's hard because you're probably going to go into it under leveled. Like, unless you grind up to some of their levels. Um, and honestly, like, I did, I did grinding before Claire. So, like, if I hadn't done any grinding then and got my team up to level 40, um, so that it was in, like, the low to mid 40s for this, um, I could have had Pokemon still in the 30s, theoretically. Which. Thank God you didn't. Yeah, like, I'm glad I didn't have to do more grinding in order to make this feasible, but. Um, yeah, I, and g given the, the newer Pokemon games, uh, propensity for being just easier in general, um, this is probably the most challenged I've been by an Elite Four since, Until like, White 2. That, that would be the most recent game, at least in terms of release order. Uh, so yeah... I think in terms of overall difficulty, maybe not as hard as Cynthia in Diamond Pearl, but um, definitely towards the top. I don't, I don't know where exactly I'd place it, because I think, like I remember Iris being fairly challenging as well. I don't remember Elite Force. Yeah, that's, that's fair. So, yeah. Um, Getting into the game in general, the level curve is eh, it like that's one of, that's one of the things that they could have fixed with the remakes, but I guess they decided to keep that true to the originals. If it makes you feel better, I actually think they uh, made it worse. I have to go check the original. Uh, Indigo Plateau in Generation uh, 2. Hmm. So, yeah, that's that's honestly probably my biggest complaint about the game. Is, uh, oh no. Uh-oh. Thank that's God you good. saved. Well, this, this is a problem, potentially. 
because if I can't load this the game save, then it might be impossible for me to complete the Elite Four, at least on the emulator that I'm using. And I don't know if I can transfer the save. Well, you should be able to, it's just files. To can another, you try reloading another, the save state? To another emulator, though? Yeah, it should be possible. It, well, I mean, it, depends, you're, you're it, depends, it depends on how the emulator stores the save. That's true. So basically, I, I saved at the end of the league, so we can skip through the credits. We, we might be in trouble here, though. Also, uh, the person who does the Pokemon voices, his name is Go Itchy Nose. He should probably scratch that. Ah, uh, you're hilarious. I am. No, I'm not. Don't don't feed me platitudes. <laughs> I don't deserve them. So th we we could we could have a big problem here though because if I can't continue the game beyond uh, beating the league here, then basically I can't I can't do anything beyond this point, at least on this save file on this emulator. Like if I can't transfer the save. So that might be a problem. <laughs> Maybe this is a uh, emulator problem. On oh, it's, this is an emulator problem. One hundred percent. All right. You know what? New save state at the end of the credits. I'm I'm not anticipating this is gonna do, behave any differently. Yeah. Okay. We're we're SOL. All right. So this emulator well, is not going to work. Um, the uh, that's a problem. Uh -huh. No, I'm wrong. They have the exact same levels they had in the original. Exact same teams and everything. All right. this Pokemon except his ace gained a level or two. In fact, everyone gained two levels. Wonderful. The All actually right. harder version. Well, I'm gonna have to figure out if I can port the saves over somehow. Well, I need to go use the, uh, I'll take a bio break. So, uh, yeah, that, that's gonna work. Well, we're, we're, we'll, we'll both be on break for a moment, and I'll see if there's anything I can do about this or not.
Alright, well, I have bad news. <laughs> um, I don't think it's going to be possible to port the saves over to another emulator. Because no! the, the, I mean, the save states obviously are one thing, but uh, the save RAM, I don't think, ports over either between the emulators, so it basically I, I can't continue the save file uh, here let me see or at the very least I don't I don't have a solution <laughs> uh, for this stream what, what are you trying to look into? Uh, to see if this is a normal thing. Well, we probably shouldn't take any more time trying to uh, troubleshoot it on stream. Exactly, yeah. So, I guess the stream has been an, an hour and a half, so it's a little bit shorter than usual, but there's really not much that I can do beyond this point. Thing. So, I think I'm just going to have to call the stream here for now, and, you know, I, I'll try to keep you posted on my Twitter uh, if we can figure anything out for porting the save data. Um, if not, uh, the only thing that I can really think of to do would be I'm going to have to replay everything up through this point. No! But, poor, the poor Mama Swine, they carried the team on its back. So, and obviously that's not something that I'm that I'd be able to do immediately, so, um, you know, even if this continues, it's gonna have to go on hiatus for a while. <laughs> while, I, while I get back up to where I was. So, yeah, that's a bummer. Um, but I guess there's really not much I can do about it. So, all right. Any, any final words before we bid the people adieu? Pop tarts. Very, very eloquent. <laughs> it, it's referencing a commercial. All right. Well, until next time. <laughs> Um, which may or may not be more soul silver. I'll just have to see. Good evening.